Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt Aspen reunion report is not true. Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt are not having an Aspen reunion. In fact, they're not having any kind of reunion anywhere at all. Gossip Cop can't not only exclusively debunk this tabloid cover story, but we can also explain how the phony claim came about. The new cover of Star Talk Save World exclusive and exclaims, Busted, Jen and Brad's Aspen reunion. What's actually busted is this tabloid itself. The front of the gossip magazine appears to show Aniston and Pitt together in a wintry locale. In actuality, the outlet effectively photoshopped two separate, individual pictures of Aniston and Pitt to give the false appearance that they were in Colorado together. They were not. And the actual article inside the edition is about a purported future trip, not one that supposedly already happened. Regardless, it's all fictitious. In the story, it's specifically alleged Caniston is about to make some very happy memories with her ex, by escaping with Brad to Aspen, Colo, for a hush-hush reunion. The so-called source maintains the former spouses have been growing close since his split from Angelina Jolie, and the publication contends that with her marriage to Justin Theroux on very thin ice, sneaking away behind her husband's back for a snowy rendezvous with Brad could rekindle the flame between the exes. The alleged insider asserts Aniston and Pitt have wanted to meet up for a while, but they couldn't figure out how to do it without getting busted until now. When Jen mentioned she was planning to go skiing with friends in Aspen after New Year's, a light bulb went off in his head, claims the tabloid's untrustworthy tipster. Brad said he could fly over in his private jet and meet up with her there. He pointed out they could even hit the slopes together, since no one would recognize them in their ski masks goggles and helmets. Jen thought it was genius. With it being alleged Jen has already booked the secluded chalet right on the slopes, the magazine's reported source speculates, I imagine Brad and Jen will steal private moments so they can have some emotional heart to hearts. This specious insider goes on to claim that Aniston has said she going to Aspen with two of her besties, which is technically true, since she is bringing two of her closest confidants. She just omitted that Brad will be staying with her as well. Notably, neither confidant is named. There is, however, a blatant contradiction about Aniston and Theroux's own recent trip. While it's asserted on the front of the issue, Desperate Justin whisks her away to Mexico to save marriage. In the actual article it's alleged Aniston was the one who orchestrated the vacation in a desperate attempt to repair their relationship. But neither contention is really true. Aniston and Theroux went on a New Year's vacation because they almost always do. That's how they enjoy ending one year and starting the next. It has nothing to do with saving their marriage or repairing their relationship. Most importantly, Aniston is not now planning to ditch her current husband to go skiing with her former husband. Here's what's really going on. Last month, the Australian tabloid Northwest made up its own cover story claiming Aniston and Pitt were going to be reunited for the holidays in Aspen. In the version, it was alleged the pair were going to spend Christmas together in the resort town. That narrative clearly inspired this one from start, which uses some of the same phrasing, such as an escape to Aspen and talk about rekindling the flame. But it wasn't true two weeks ago and it still isn't now. Aniston and Pitt never met up for Christmas in Aspen and they have no intention of doing so this month, either. It's all a collection of falsehoods from the same magazine that lied about Aniston being pregnant nearly a year ago. And the actress rep tells Gossip Cop exclusively about this purported Aspen reunion, it's just all another fabrication with no relationship to reality or the truth. But spokesperson also confirms to us the cover story is untrue. Remember that the next time you see an issue like this one on the check outline, 